All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Freerun, Freerun episode eight. eight. Freerun's about to throw down. Yeah, in a jail cell. In a jail no cell. Staff. And and it won't even make her break a sweat. I get the feeling. I, I get the feeling too. Mm-hmm. Unless yeah. our theories from before about the way in which she can kind of frame her for the guard's death play through. Which would be interesting. That that would be interesting, but, but I, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Like, imagine it's just like, oh, you're here to kill me? Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'm way stronger than you. The door closes behind the demon, and they're like, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> that's that's not how this is supposed to go. So where's Aura's army? Uh, did you, did I fucking stutter? Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. You are going to tell me. Thank you for coming to me and uh, making it be something where we can have a private conversation. Right, you know, right. yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> My vision of uh, Gojo walking towards Hanami just comes <laughs> into mind right now. Yeah. <laughs> but with a little bit more restraint, you know. Fern and Stark are just, like, shopping, and they're like, we better check on Freerun. And then they just hear, like, the demon, like, shrieking, ah! you know, yeah. from inside. And they're like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Problems. Yeah. Problems are here. We better, we better go check. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Interesting. She can just concentrate general mana for defense. Yeah. Okay, you upcasted. I'm proud. Yeah, yeah. You realize that I'm an elf, right? I'm... <laughs> so, bam. You yeah. know? <laughs> she's just generally moving mana around yeah she's not even casting incantations or right. anything <laughs> oh oh shit done it's done it's over yeah Yeah, I think that's still gonna happen. <laughs> well, of course the guard is dead. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> right, because since the demon's bodies disintegrate, there could always be the... What? We were never there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why, why should we believe you? You oh, it's almost attacked them in open daylight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. For now... <laughs> Ah, he didn't even glance your way. Mm -hmm. I love that the shaking's still there. Yeah. Shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shaking as he's... Mm hmm Yep. Cool. We're continuing everything from the dragon and stuff. Yep. Nope, that's yours now. Mm -hmm. uh, it was this far from your dick, my mm -hmm. dude. <laughs> Well, drink some liquid courage then. Let's That's go. a restoration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, we called it. You called it, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. That's a good point. But. Yeah. Where's your friend? Blood magic?
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I love it. But that sword was already cracked. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I feel uh -huh. something in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. <laughs> right. They both cut so cleanly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, against the weak. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Shit. I was going to say the fact that he hadn't taken his head off already. That was him toying with him. Oh. Oh, he needs to be the one to do it. Nice limitation. Gotcha. I like okay. that. Like, it's not just, oh, there's a button somewhere that mm -hmm. presses it. It's probably a hidden spell off word or something yeah. like that. Oh, and there's Free Ren. <laughs> yep. Wait a minute. <laughs> Damn, you're good. <laughs> no, I'm in disguise. Then I won't tell you. どうやに言ったらドラートとかいう魔族が襲ってきてさ。一応倒したんだけど。魔族って死んだら魔力の粒子になって。うん、うん、うん。いや、イヴンザブラッド。そいつ老板の衛兵を殺していたんだよね。その
我々の力をより強固なものとする魔法というものは不思議なものでなあああ It's been up for that long Wow And so this is her master's work Just yeah. like it's a way of seeing Yeah, she's not alone She can still yeah. see remnants mm -hmm. of them And did she just cast this barrier on this to let a tree develop? Or maybe this is just how casual it was for her. Or she's practicing it. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Talent versus skill. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, maybe it is just a tree somewhere. <laughs> All right, torture is going to start. Yep. 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 <少し時間を置くか。よく考えるといい。人類にとっては待たせるのも有効な外交戦術の一つだろう。吐かなければ待っているのは。laughs> Okay, so they've already been torturing him. Yeah. Right. You can sense them coming, can't you? Oh. oh, okay. Okay. I like it. There's still just the two of them, so they're like, theoretically, it might have been better to just keep torturing him, but... <laughs> Hell yeah! Courage isn't the absence of fear! Oh, did they enchant it? <笑>お前、お前。あの時を、お知り合いで。いや、昼間の冒険者の一人だ。連れの魔法使いが脱獄したとも知らずに、自家談判に来たのだろう。また。帰っていいぞ、小僧。見逃してやる。まただ。He <笑><笑> All right. Oh, fuck. All right. Already true blood. But that's, yeah, yeah, that's his weapon. Shit. Yeah, the fight's over. Yeah. No, I didn't. See, yeah, that's I'm what not you alone. Think. <laughs> oh, was she cloaked? Is this part of the plan? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. In those two seconds. <laughs> bam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> With the moonlight. <laughs> yep, this spell. Hmm. Ordinary offensive magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Did you? Did you? Fire again. Love it. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, that's okay. so cool. It's a one hit kill, but me, I have my blood magic, so. Ah. She modified it? I love it. Beautiful. Hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And now you probably recognize the uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. It all's connected. He's like, "Oh shit." Yep. Oh my <laughs> god. Same shot. Let's go. Freer and the, the slayer. slayer. Wait, right. she is the demon slayer. Yeah. I was joking. Stop I was playing joking. the doom music. Rip and tear, Freer and Rip oh and tear. Oh my god. Until it is done. Okay, okay. Freer and the slayer. Yep. I, I love it. I. Yeah. Uh, I'm terrified. Don the doom armor and let's go. I, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified here. Because there's some really cool character implications at play here. But sure. not only that, we got exactly what we wanted this episode. We got the p potential of Freerin being framed for this. Uh -huh. So it makes Freerin not uh, do things directly. Yep. But we got the competence from the humans of them being like, no, we're not going to suspect her. Where's your third person yeah, here? Right. Oh, like, you you went to the privy and you didn't ask a servant for help. Bullshit. But, yeah. but then there's the problem of, well, but also the demon is really strong and he's not an envoy. He's an executioner. He's right. one of her strongest subordinates. Yep. And it's not just him. Also, he has a mage with them who has incredibly strong magic. And then we also have the other executioner guy who, while he got punked by Freerin, he's not a pushover either. Exactly. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's the, no, your people weren't here. You didn't have... Mm -hmm. You didn't you have know, enough guards. You Or, or you didn't... Uh, or you you didn't need act, something better than guards. You didn't, you didn't act immediately. Right. When when he had the, the sword on them and all that stuff, there was a notion that, like, no... He, Maybe you'd be able to respond faster than they could act. Right. You know. Which which maybe he could have then. Yeah. But but in this case, nope. he didn't order the guards to do anything. Right. And thus yep. he acted first and killed yeah, them. Yeah, you you uh, you magic. had the hunch, you figured out what was going on, but because you didn't act on the hunch because you're wanting to clarify where's your other guy, right. you know, things like that, that gave them the opportunity. It gave them the jump. So yep. cool. And also then Freerin ended up absolutely murking Drot. With just basic mana manipulation. Yeah, I, I she love She basically that. used the basics of Nen and mm -hmm. just was like, well, I localized the Nen here and thus it's basically unbreakable yep. against your puny shit. She basically so, said, I just need cantrips to deal with you. I mean, she barely even used cantrips. cantrips. Yeah. She basically said, no, I am going to inefficiently use mana mm -hmm. and just wave it around yep. and you and will obliterate die. You, you yeah. will, you right. will lose. Yep. So Delightful. that's done. Freerin's going to Aura. The mm -hmm. plot is moving extremely quickly. Oh yeah. We have the actual real stakes encounter mm -hmm. because Stark and Fern are not Freerin. They yep. can lose. They can take damage. They can be emotionally and physically hurt exactly. by these encounters here. And yet we know they're going to be okay because one, Fern left them, you know, like he's like, yeah, you're gonna be fine. Freerin left them. But yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freerin left them. But also the meta angle of, yeah, they're not going to die here. 
but that that doesn't there can be consequences there can, there can be consequences do. but then also that it makes it an opportunity for us to see how far they've grown right, right. right. and so you know the whether it's the pacing the 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 fern and and stark situation or mm -hmm. fern getting to go off to aura by herself these are some of the benefits that you have to you know uh not beating around the bush and being right. like yes these characters are very competent very powerful even if not all of them know it or to the degree yes. that they are Right. And now I, let's have them do stuff. I love the way in which the, hey, you're using Zoltrak magic, but we ended that whole thing back uh -huh. then. So what is this? How did you yeah. end up getting this passed Ordinary on to you? You're a human magic. mage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no bullshit. How You've did you modified this to kill demons. So someone taught you this that's older than a, oh. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I they so so many of the just the shots from this episode were an absolute delight to me. Uh -huh. The the giant moon in the background, you know, as Fern is floating there, and then it you know cuts to cuts free to Ren. Free it's like moon, yeah. yes, that's that. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. So good. Like, and not just because it reminds me of you know a, a certain uh, Elden Ring, you know, a um, um, full moon, you know, wizard fight, but like th this was delightful. I I I love the way in which this show handles action. It is punchy. It is quick. Mm -hmm. We do not waste time. And while there is a lot of talking amidst the action here, it is the kind that still maintains the threat of the action yes. and violence being escalated uh -huh. in the midst of that. In a lot so, of ways, I feel like there's more tension as a result of it because mm -hmm. they're I able agree. they're able to make it so that when the action happens, things move very quickly, people die in seconds, right? right. Which is how you would expect stuff like that to happen. Yeah. And so then, yeah, if two sides don't fully know what the other side can do, there could be that like, okay... Are, are we actually doing this? We might not need to because we want to get this guy out and, you know, various things. And we also oh, he's can't trying kill to stall him. for time. You so know, if we fight here in a big chaotic yeah, way, or, or he at could the very end up dying. Right, right, exactly. And and we don't know what this guy's thing is because normally that would kill a demon, but he's kind of okay. He's weakened, but like, you know, so let's not, let's not take any chances. And both are also wanting to get information from each other, like where the army is and things like that. Cool. Right. Also, if we get this guy and just move him away from you, your main objective of getting the barrier down is null and void. Right. Yep. And and the whole thing of like, ah, oh, yes, Fern is waiting outside while Stark goes inside. One, of course, just from a tactical standpoint, but two, um, that's also in line with like uh, the way Fern has been personality-wise with regards to Stark, but then also mm -hmm. showcasing that she has actually learned some of Freerun's other <laughs> aspects, where it's the, yes, I will have the canary go into the coal mine. And draw right? aggro. And draw aggro, and I'll just be I'll just be camping out here, you know, just floating in the in the sky, you know, above the window with my non detection, you know, stuff, stuff up, up, you know, up. and then just oh okay, they're they're coming in, yeah, they want to you know question him at least a little bit because you know like they're they're so in control they don't have to worry about anything, and then snipe, you know, boom, yep. mm -hmm. and he probably moved just enough to not get a to not get completely one shot, yep, and then she's like oh well shit. And okay. I love the way Linnea is being used in the story. She hasn't used her magic once yet. Nope. This Just another way magic. in which the words can be affected here is mm -hmm. that she said, I've got this. And then uh, Lugner said, don't. Right. Basically, stop. Hold on. Uh -huh. I'm going to use my magic here, words, and right. figure out, hey, mm -hmm. what can I get out of you here? And then she's like, oh, shit, you're trying to stall, aren't you? Yep. Let's let's get out of here. You yep. know? And it's just, there you go. There you go. What would have happened if they had actually thrown down there? I don't know. That would have been very interesting. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel I don't feel like I got, um, like, you know. Robbed. Robbed of something. Right. Because the they, way it went down was still fascinating and engaging and all of that stuff. And it right. leads to future conflict. Great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It does bring into uh, something a question, though. Mm -hmm. The barrier would have had to have been altered or lowered or partially let mm -hmm. open in a little bit of ways for them to enter at all. Yeah. So I'm curious if that's going to become a thing where it's like, hey, um, you know, technically they're stuck in this town now forever. Right? Right, but they could kill everybody. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Probably, probably. Yeah. 
But but yes, they can't get out. They can't necessarily yeah, there, there is a, leave. Like right? I I love that they showcased the the example of like the, you know the the, the Deathly big... Hallows thing of the all right send somebody in, send a peon in to check the barrier. Yeah, it oh, looks like some demon dragon thing just yeah. walked up and it just <laughs> just died yeah, died and it's like okay. and then Flam cast this magic mm -hmm. long time ago. And the way we show it being done is there was this ripple effect of a couple little shield like, yeah, waves like lots coming of different over, layers or right, something, coming over yeah. this little sapling bud, mm -hmm. and it's like, wait, is did that she cast the magic long before this town? Mm -hmm. So much so that humans and people built the town underneath this slowly expanding over a thousand years barrier. That could totally be it because we did have the whole thing with the tree, mm -hmm. right? You know, with the the other interaction with Flam that we had in the present, you know, mm -hmm. like the, her magic and all that stuff. So it could totally just be that it was that actual cast of magic and it's just a random thing that a legendary wizard did back in the day. Right. And yet at the same time, it could just be the, no, this is not that specific spell, or it's the spell, but it's not the instance of the spell. Right, right. But we're going to use that to demonstrate just how casual and easy it is for Flam that she can cast some ultimate giga spell that hasn't been able to be counteracted in a thousand years right. just to protect a little plant that's trying to grow in, you know, mm -hmm. the cold winter. Right? Yep. And that could be... And that could be it. That could be it. That, that really could be it. I'm like, now looking through the episodes to see if there's a shot of any, like, overhead look of the town to see if there's a big oh, tree yeah, yeah. anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And see if that's, like, the, the source of it or, or something. That would be interesting. It would also be interesting if the tree is there, but it never got big because the magic that keeps it going is based on the potential life force of time of this tree's thing, sure. and thus it keeps it in also a perpetual state of never growing old and thus dying. Yeah, yeah. Like, there could be right. some fun yeah. stuff it, it there. Could, it could just be, like, I mean, that would, in a lot of ways, be the perfect way to, like, they, no, they can't find it, because it's just a regular-ass tree. It's just, a, it's just a little tree. It's yeah. just a tree in the garden, you know, that, like, and, yeah. and, and, and just, that's that. And our family are the garden tenders, you know? You right, never right, know exactly. which tree it is, but it's just, yep. you know, be, be kind to nature. Or even just, you know, in the mansion of this noble family, of course they're going to have a There's garden. a potted plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, you know, like, yeah, it could be all kinds of things. It so, could be all kinds of things, but, yeah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And now Freyrin is going to have an encounter with Aura the Guillotine. The guillotine. Yep. I don't know why that word keeps fucking me up in my head, because I'm like, guillotine. No, Caleb, it's gu guillotine. Yeah. But, um, okay, so are these executioners of... The Demon King's Executioner? Because guillotine? Or the guillotine? I'm, I'm guessing that's probably sort of the, the, the grandfathered kind of, you know, lineage of it with regards to the demon organization or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Possibly. But makes I, sense. But I, I like that this demon doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the character in the opening. Yeah. Because I, yeah, from they far look, away. I, they look different. Right. I figured it might have just been the same one, but no, it's actually totally different. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's curious. Also, just a fun little thing here. Mm -hmm. These are not demons. This nope. is just animated armors. Oh, yeah. They have no heads. Yep. So. Yep. One, it's a, it's a, I'm sure it's a great way to have a. Now, granted, this is an has a source army. material. Uh, yes, an immortal army. But also, thinking source material, yeah, it wasn't done for the way it might make things easier from an animation perspective. But no. this is super intimidating as a thing of, yeah, you have a bunch of headless suits of armor. I love armor, so cool factor is definitely mm -hmm. there. But also, the this is the power of a single demon. This is not uh -huh. a demon that is then leading thousands of other demons. They might be, right, mm -hmm. on top of all of that. But so far, what we are seeing here is just a demonstration, as far as we can tell, of this individual demon's power. Right. And now her and Fern, or Freyrin, are about to go head to head. Awesome. Yep. Great. Do you think they're going to get Phantom Menaced and just drop once Aura's dead? Um, uh, possibly. I could also see it being something where, like, I mean, maybe, I feel like Freerun is going to be using magic that's on the level of which where like like she's flying and stuff. I don't see any bows, you know, from these guys. Like even oh, if they throw javelins I, or some shit, you know. I, I actually have a real question here. This is actually no. Hold on, I I have a problem here. What? What's the barrier's limitation? 
Because oh. if these are animated armors, they shouldn't be stopped by the barrier. Uh, maybe it would cut off their magical connection once they pass through. But yeah, that does seem like the kind of thing that you'd want to like. But then practice the having magic of the demons as they. No, 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 like if if she's got a tethering connection. Oh, to like them. it's a concentrated spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The concentrate. Oh, okay, right. okay, that makes like, sense. Like she's that supplying them with mana to manipulate them or whatever, and then they just fall apart, you know. But yes, right. that would have been a nice thing to see be demonstrated once we get this giant army that is. It's not probably going to get demonstrated in the next episode. It yeah. probably will be. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. point. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of things in the world building here that just because you watch or you experience a lot of high fantasy, you can kind of just subtly imply a couple yeah. things and it's the the world is set up in such a way that a lot of those things haven't been contradicted thus far so right. it's it's working in the back of my mind mm -hmm. but this and was one of those things where i was like wait a minute that might actually need to be that explained. might need to be yeah. actually brought right. up of like yeah. why they need it open if they are all not yes. demons i i that is one of those things that over the course of just this show i have really loved is how it uses genre conventions yes. to its benefit, like yes. not in a way of like, ah, yes, you know, uh, we're going to subvert them or, you know, whatever. But the fact that there are things that we will expect, then it doesn't need to spend time introducing certain elements yes. because then it can just be like, yeah, you know that that's probably a thing. And then we, when we get into the particulars or the ways that it might be different, then we'll actually spend time on it. And generally and so, it's being confirmed. Like yep. the way in which the humans would have potentially been thinking like, oh, well, then our mage uh, prisoner killed the guard. That was with magic, so there's the case. But then, of course, they, they're already on alert. So they're yep. like, we're just here to confirm that, oh, yeah, what do you know? One of the uh, is gone. demons is gone. Okay. So actually, you know what? No, that mage didn't fight back when right. the guards arrested them, which she could have. Which she could have. And and because demons disappear when they die, yes, while Freerun is the most experienced with demons as far as any of the characters we've seen in the show thus far, because she's so old, um, if these people have been fighting demons, they would be well aware of that kind of stuff, right? right? Like, th th that would absolutely be the kind of thing where it's like, you know, oh shit, a bunch of people died, so it must have been demons then, right? Like, you know, yeah. 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 But, okay. All right. Really excited for the next episode. Yes. Really excited for the way this is going. Uh, Stark did take a bit of a, a bit of a shot there in the arm. So yep. I hope that his wounds don't get immediately like thrown under the rug of like, ah, oh, now he's just totally fine. Yeah. Um, he I is, could see he's us tough th Bill Dibberly, you know, kind of thing. But we we could well uh, we do have we do have the, the the whole priest angle with the adventuring party. So wizards might not have healing magic. I can't remember if we've had that established yet. Well, I I don't think we've seen. As far as I can remember, any kind of healing magic being no, no, used. No, totally. But like, uh, as far as the like, given the genre conventions that it's playing to, with like the you know the class. The, stuff. Yeah, yeah. The fighter, the paladin, the wizard, the the cleric. You know. Yeah. Uh, ostensibly, that would have been Hater's thing, but right. Maybe she's learned stuff like Freerun has learned stuff. Like yeah. That. Who knows? But I, but I would love to see that addressed also in the next episode because even though he's strong, he did take a mm -hmm. pretty big hit on his arm there. Yep, and that hasn't been brought up, even though he picked up. Um, yeah, the guy there. No. Also, problem. I gotta say, I really appreciate that with the. Um, I'm sorry, with the tentacle powers that we've seen with ah, the yes. two demons of the ah, I have a magical wire. Ah, I have magical blood. Right, you know, it's like ah, yes, a very flexible thing that can cut things. You know, yeah. pretty much however I want. When he blocks the sword strike, yeah, no, that he he could have just you know lasso snip you know killed him right there but they don't want to kill him that's why he didn't but when it came to still ending the fight it's the yeah you think you think i need to keep this thing rigid here like like i couldn't just have it wrap around you like you know i totally could i'm gonna flex on you by showing that i'm just gonna you know just cut my hand on I, your sword a little bit to have that i want to push thing, back against but, that to just make just a because mm. we we have a joke on this channel mm, tentacle yeah. powers are always op yeah basically they are defined by the limits of the writing Yep. Um, because there's a bunch of little powers that are attributed to them um, that are not actually usually um, displayed in any kind of uh, complete total understanding. Like, sure, you don't, or you consistently. Don't, or consistently. Like, so, so an example of this being that I think actually mm -hmm. he needed to use another thing because oh, yeah. it was the force of the blade coming towards him that if he ever relaxed his strength uh -huh. on that 
the guy would have come forward and actually wounded him. Sure, but, because, right, because but, he doesn't have true telekinesis over it. Otherwise, the darts that he threw at Stark, he could have been manipulated after. Right, you know, which in my opinion limits that a little bit in that once sure. he hardens it, he actually loses a little bit of the control flexibility right. of what and, he can do and with he it. he has to have a chain back to him in order to control it. But right. he might still have an awareness of it, even if he can't manipulate it, like with the blood on their persons, right? right. You know, if he had ranged mm -hmm. control of it, he could just have it suddenly send spikes through their hearts or whatever. Right, and this you is, know. I'm just, just calling a whole bunch of anime powers out, oh, just uh -huh. in general. This is something that really annoys me with the tentacle powers thing. And this is basically the equivalent of, hey, to uh, every story's credit, at some point you need to have a power that is easy to visualize, mm -hmm. yep. but also has near limitless application so that the party doesn't immediately one-shot them yeah, or, in some way. Or the conflicts don't become stale. Yes. You know, right? Yes, like exactly. Yeah, and that's why you have a lot of main characters in like the action-oriented shows having the very basic powers that you know I negate your powers or I have super punch or whatever. If I you know. hit them with my melee thing, then they are blocked. Right. But of course, the tentacle things can just have instant physics blocking stuff that just comes right. forth and just goes. Ah, I stopped the. That, if it if, creates a fun visual. Yeah, exactly, know? and that would that would create a lot of uh uh narrative bullshit that could be unsatisfying with regards to conflict resolution and that's why the way that they're handling free run yes is and, so and important and fern just coming right. like bam because because free run essentially is that she has had a thousand years to collect all sorts of spells we don't know entirely what she can do it and that's why we don't show it that much because it's just assumed that she can do yes like yes mm -hmm, right like she is she is the fucking strong right right so yeah, we have her go up against an army, and it's just the, this is a thing that is going to happen mm -hmm. because, of course, Freeridden can do this, you know? Right. And then what will be the character implications and the how and the reactions of those around her when yep. she does the awesome? Exactly. So, there we go. Mm -hmm. Miguel, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get early access there, a full link. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.